Okay everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Raquel Welch, Watch Me Wow, in the color R4, which is Midnight Brown. This one has a bang that needs trimming on me, regular heat friendly fibers, a lace front, a mono crown, and a little bit of layering, not much. If you want to know more about Watch Me Wow, stick around. I would like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me this piece so that I could review it. If you've never these. visited Name Brand Wigs, they're a wonderful online retailer. I have a link to this piece in the description and a coupon code that will save you 30%. They also have great customer service and are, are just a wonderful support of this wig wearing community. All right, everybody, let's take a look at this one from all sides. I almost pulled it off my head because I hit a little bit of a snarl and that's you saw me stick my hand up there so I will just say this one tangles a little bit very minimal tangling on this one long synthetic wigs do tend to tangle I see that question a lot on Facebook and in some of the groups I have this long synthetic wig and it tangles horribly what can I do well I mean that is sort of the nature of synthetic fibers but I will tell you that this one I'm not having much trouble with at all it's not tangling terribly so that's a positive so let's talk about this piece now this one like I said has a lace front and a mono crown there's no mono part no mono filament so you don't really have any scalp appearance on the parting space but let's take a look at that lace front you can see it's pretty knotty that is very very common with dark brunettes because knots on synthetic fibers cannot be bleached so I mean you see how dark this is it's only kind of it only follows that when they tie a knot into this cap here you're gonna see some of that knotting a couple of things about that I think they did a really good job of uh, making the hairline look really natural they didn't like densely knot it all the way across that helps a lot another thing that helps if you're sensitive to knotting some people aren't and then you won't be bothered by that but this one does have a fringe. If you really kind of tease it out, it definitely has more of a wispy bang. It's just really long on me and it pokes me in the eye. So I like to sweep it. But if you want to wear this with a full bang, oh, and your measurements are similar to mine, just kind of work those bangs out and then take a little scissors or even better, a thinning razor and just trim this up. That's what I would do to, so that you can wear it as a full bang. I have a video where I show you how to do that with a thinning razor. I'll make sure it's linked in the description for you so you can go check that out. So you don't really have to show that lace front at all. But if you do want to do some off the face styling, you can take this and pull it up in a little bit of a clip because it does have that lace front. You can always take a little bit of makeup, some even just some face powder and that will blur those knots and I have a video showing that as well that I'll link that so just a couple of tips for you guys as far as the parting space goes there is some permatease up here if I get real close maybe you can see a little bit of it it is slightly visible on this color very slightly so slight that I don't think anybody will ever notice it but if you get this in a lighter color that is not rooted it is possible you will see some permatease on that one. If I can see it a tiny bit on this, no rooting and a lighter color will really make that visible. I can't guarantee it because one of the things that manufacturers will do to hide that permatease is you know, put the hair in there in such a way that it's lifted up off of it. If that's not the case with yours, I'll fix that. That's not how you would actually leave it. But uh, then you can take a brush or a wide tooth comb and I would just kind of comb it up against that permatease because what we're trying to do is we're trying to break that permatease up and lift the hair up off of it so that it's higher than the permatease. You know, kind of get your fingers in there, mess it up. You can always use styling spray, hairspray, all of those things, and that should really help. I just want to point that out because you've maybe not familiar with wigs that don't have a monofilament on top, and that permatease can be a little bit visible. Let's take a look at this cap so that you can see what I'm talking about when I refer to the mono crown. So this is the lace front. 
and you have quite a bit of parting space right there so it does give or I'm sorry quite a bit of lace there so it can give the appearance of a part line if you part it along that that is the mono crown right there what that does you really can't see it because uh, it's way on the top of your head, but that does give the hair the ability to lay a lot more naturally in that spot. So it looks a lot more natural so that you can see I've buzzed my hair recently and I'm keeping these sides out so that I can blend. Um, so that is what a mono crown is. We've got an extended nape, Velcro adjusters, a really stretchy open wefted cap with the Memory 3 silicone on here. I just, I think Raquel Welch caps are really comfortable. I think they run very, very true to average. Typically, this one is running real similar to a typical Raquel Welch cap. I get a little bit of extra cap up there. I can cinch it in just a little bit and I have a 22 inch circumference and the ear tabs give me really good coverage and fall where I like them to fall. So I would say this is running really typical to the standard Raquel Welch cap. Let's get this kind of combed out. So the volume on this one is I would say moderate to light. It's not a heavy volume at all. You guys, I will just, let me pause and just say the one thing I think I struggle with on this one that I think you might, if yours is the same, is this front here. It just doesn't know what it wants to do. It doesn't know how it wants to lay. It's too long to lay as a full bang. So I think everything about this wig is awesome. And if you get one that you struggle with the front, that might be the only area where you've got to work with it to make it your own. Either trim it up or even though this isn't heat friendly, you can take light heat to it. You can take steam to it to try to retain train this front and get it to lay how you want. If you took steam to it or light, light heat might not be enough, but, and then you sort of read, not on your head, redirected this up and over, you could get a little lift in that front, you know, and make sure those that front can kind of lay so that it stays out of your face, that might work. I'm just really struggling with it because it just needs to be trained. So just keep that in mind. All right, so the density is moderate to light. It's not a heavy density. It does have permatease on the top. It's not a heavy amount of permatease, but there is permatease this whole top here, just a little bit. Because it doesn't have any mono features, it kind of needs that permatease in order to hide the cap. It gives it just a little bit of volume on the top, not a lot, it lays fairly flat, almost like you took a little bit of a round brush to the top there with a hair dryer to get a little bit of lift. Let's talk about the color, R4, which is Midnight Brown. It is a deep, dark brown, super dark brown. Now, because this is regular synthetic, in some lighting, it might look a little bit shiny. Don't judge the shine based on this lighting because it's super bright on here. You'd never have this bright of light on you. There's no visible highlights, but it is a rich, rich brown. The shine really looks like healthy hair shine, like you have really cared for your hair or used a little bit of shine spray on it. I don't think it's unnatural looking. The fibers are super soft. These are high quality synthetic. They're not cheap synthetic, so they look really natural, really realistic. The movement is just like human hair. Raquel Welch does a really good job. If you're looking for a dark brown, you want the richness. There's no real red in here, but it is warm and you don't want any visible highlights, then R4 Midnight Brown might be the color for you. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thanks once again, Name Brand Wigs. I appreciate you sending me this one so that I could share her. And if you have this one, will you leave a comment? Tell us what you did with the front, how yours laid. That would be helpful. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Let's get outside. All right, everyone, here we are with R4. Midnight brown outside. There is that sunshine. Get over here. All right, there you go. Nice, rich, dark, dark brown. Thanks for watching.
All right, we've got the unboxing so that you can see what this style looked like right out of the box. Really pretty much exactly what you're seeing here, but I know sometimes it's helpful to just see an unboxing. I do put these out on Instagram as well, so if you follow me there, you're able to see these. I've started to wait though until my review is out just in case somebody's interested. They can go straight and watch the review and not have to wait. See, real cute, real easy. Straight styles like this that don't have a ton of permatease are usually great out of the box. Not much box hair to deal with, so they're easy to tell if they're going to work for you or not. Thanks for watching.